Hello everyone, in this video we're going to show how to do a calibration with the XAGP150. This has the Rebocast 4 spreader on it and it's a very simple calibration process. If it's done correctly, you should be getting really good accuracy on your pounds per acre that you're spreading. So the tools that we're going to need today are a scale with the ability to read in grams and then we're going to need a 2 millimeter or 3 millimeter hex bit to remove the spreading disc under the spreader. We're gonna need something to set the drone up. So we've used saw horses, tables, anything you can use to get the drone up in the air so you can get a bigger tub or bucket or tote or something underneath of it to catch the material that you discharge. And then you're also, of course, gonna need the product that you're gonna be calibrating. In this case, we have some soybeans that we're gonna be doing to calibrate this spreader. And you want enough material to fill the spreader relatively full, ideally all the way full. Uh, we don't have quite enough in this one, but we have enough to fill it most of the way full for a good calibration. So the first thing that we're going to do here on the drone is remove the spreading disc. And I'll show you guys how to do that. It's very simple. First, you need the two millimeter hex bit, and we're going to remove the P1 wire that goes to the spreader motor. You can just take off these four screws on the connector. And those screws actually will stay threaded in there so you don't have to worry about losing those. And then we'll switch over to the three millimeter. And we have four bolts that hold on the spreader disc. Careful so you don't drop it and break it like I almost did. All right, now that we've got that off, we're gonna fill the spreader up with the product so we can do a manual discharge to fill up the, fill up the auger. Okay, we've got three buckets of product in there. You can see it's not totally full. Um, ideally, like I said, it's all the way full, but we don't have that product here right now. So we'll go in and do a discharge. And the purpose of this is just to fill up that bottom auger in there and get it full of the product. So we'll just start and stop. And I'll turn my screen recording on so you guys can see what's on my screen here. Once you've discharged a little bit, I like to just dump this back in there. And then we're gonna tear out the container. Make sure your scale is set to grams. Now we'll go on to the remote here and instead of actually hitting spreading calibration like you would think that we would, we're going to tap spread type and we're going to make a new spread type. If you wanted to make a new spread type, you can hit the plus button up in the top and enter in your name of the product that you want to calibrate. We've actually already have products. We actually already have soybeans and it entered into this as a spread type. And we're just going to perform a recalibration on it. Let's do a calibration. Now it's going to ask us what size of screw feeder we have installed. We have the large in. And it will say fill the container, sufficient pellets loaded, next. And now it's just going to ask us to make sure we have a container placed under the outlet. We'll just hit start discharge. All right, and then after it's done discharging, it's gonna ask us for the weight in grams. We'll just enter that in, submit. 
complete and then you have done a calibration on your P150. So hopefully that helps you guys see and learn how to do calibration on the spreader for the P150. Thanks for watching.